Hey folks, and welcome back to another video. Uh, as I've said before, we're going to be doing something a little unconventional to my channel. Uh, since my uh, psoriasis has been healing, I thought I might start uh, reviewing some of my knives that I have. Um, so why not? Why don't we begin with using the knife that uh, that started it all with the channel? Uh, this right here is the DPX Hest. Um, I believe it's the original version. Now, don't quote me on that. I bought this probably 12, 13 years ago. Um, and uh, this was when they were working with, the DPX at least, was working with uh, OKC, as you can see it there. OKC is Ontario Knife Company. And, uh, and they created this nice little blade. Now... I'm going to do things a little differently. Uh, you, you can always check out the channels for all the full tech specs of everything. But I like to review it, things based on what I like about it. Um, now, my knife uh, tastes have changed over the years. And this particular blade is... Uh, when, when, when I first purchased it at the time, it was... You know, it appealed to my... my Oh, I, I was a, I was really heavily into to zombies and zombie movies and things at that time. So I really liked um, the fact that uh, this was uh, an urban carry. It was designed to be an urban carry. It's got a nice little pry bar down here that you could use to pry things. Generally, don't pry things with your knife unless it was designed for it, right? Uh, I believe this steel is 1095 carbon steel. I can't remember exactly, but it's, uh, I know it's a carbon steel and, uh, and it's carbon steels are, are, are nice and, and, and hard and they hold an edge really well. Uh, so that's why, uh, this was good for, 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 for that sort of thing, you know, being, being in an urban scenario, obviously, if, if you ever needed to use it uh, for survival, obviously, uh, surviving with a bottle opener is always a must. You got to have that. Uh, we've got some sort of a wire cutter here right under the choil. Uh, and, and for those of you who don't know what a choil is, uh, that's usually, usually that's a sharpening choil is what they call that, I think, but it's also used as a, as a wire cutter. As far as I know, I've never cut a wire with it. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's got the multi-purpose uh, tools built into it. Um, not too many. Obviously, a knife is, is more than enough tool for most circumstances. Um, this is the knife that I used to scrape a lot of my psoriasis in, and uh, it's treated me well over the years. Uh, it's, it's a pretty thick blade stock here, so... Um, I, I found it actually kind of hard to, to sharpen well. Um, I could sharpen it so that it cuts paper pretty well, but um, I couldn't ever get it to, to shaving sharp. Another thing I liked about this thing is that uh, underneath here, which I can I can get a little screwdriver out and show you. There we go. Um, under here is a, is a little compartment that you can quickly unscrew. You don't need a screwdriver. Um, you can use a coin or something else flat. That's uh, pretty easy to remove. And here's a, a little compartment for which you can store some survival items if you needed. Again, I was huge into survival at the time. Um, and of course I can't get it off now. Uh, let's see if I can tap it out. Just tap it out. Okay, that's not working. Let's grab another knife here and see if I can't wedge it down in there. And of course, I just told you never to pry with a knife. I'm not prying, I'm just trying to separate the two. And over the years, it's been gunked up with my, my uh, probably, you know, anything I was using for my psoriasis stuff. Um, anyways, you can trust me, there's a compartment down there. Um, and, and it can, it's, it's pretty small. You can, you can hold some matches in there if you wanted, some wire, some uh, string, maybe a suture kit, whatever. Um, uh, but that's, uh, that, that's a nice little feature that it has. So, um, yeah, that, that's why I bought this knife originally. I, 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 I was, I was heavy into zombies and survival and things like that. So I wanted something that I could use to, uh, to survive with at the time, you know, when I was, uh, you know, 12 years younger. And, uh, of course, you know, I still keep it around it has great sentimental value for me. And I've always, uh, I've always just, I've always just liked the feel of it. Now, one thing that uh, I learned that I didn't like over time 
is the coating that they use. Uh, and, and this is kind of universal with pretty much all the knives that I own now. I don't like, I try to avoid knives with coating as I can because it, it starts, uh, you know, wearing off and that's fine. Um, things are, tools aren't going to remain pretty as you use them. And there's no reason to really need to keep them uh, pretty and dolled up. The real reason why these things are powder coated is because carbon steel is, is highly prone to rust if, uh, if left exposed to moisture. So you'll always want to uh, you know, clean off your blades, uh, dry them off if, there's, if they get wet after use and store them properly. Uh, typically you can just add a little bit of oil and rub it on and keep it uh, nice and, and fresh uh, and, and, and not... Uh, not rusted, rusty, rusted, <laughs> not, uh, keep the rust away. So yeah, this is a nice little knife. I like it. Uh, let's just uh, measure it out real quick. Uh, we've got it sitting at about seven and a half inches and that's, uh, with a cutting edge of about three and a quarter, we'll say three and an eighth. And yeah, that's a it's, it's a nice little cutting edge. It's it's legal to conceal in my state at least if you uh, felt the need to conceal something like this. Now let's talk about the sheath here. I, uh, I I've I've always really enjoyed this sheath. Um, it's it's a Kydex sheath. Um, it's molded perfectly for it, and it's got this little I believe they call this a Molly rigging system where you can uh, attach this to other tactical gear that you may or may not have, which I don't have much of. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it, uh, can work for you for that if that's what you liked it for, but it's a nice secure, um, sheath and it holds the knife really well. And yeah, I love it. So that's the knife that's been with us for so long over these last, over the last decade of, of our videos that we've used. So, uh, yeah, let me know if uh, there's any knives that you want me to check out. I would love to just kind of go through and give my take on, on the knives and, and, and I'll give you guys more, uh, more videos of the knives that I do currently own and, uh, and we'll just roll from there. All right. Thanks a lot for watching guys and have a great one.